so welcome to the first session of application packaging so this is an agenda just for today not for the course okay since today is a demo session so this is an agenda for today so you are going to learn what is an msi and how the architecture of an msi should be and what are the types of files we are going to deal within an msi application packaging and as i said the uh, ideal differences between the packaging and repackaging step advantages of msi and best practices while doing the repackaging okay okay so basically MS, uh, msi is a windows installer which is particularly a relational database i guess you are well aware of relational database what it does it has a relation between the things of the data between it so this works in the same concept of a relational database wherein it consists of a table form. Okay. So this MSI is user like, so suppose you take any software you want to install on your machine or your system or a phone at least. You need to get an executable downloaded, then you need to run. You need to click on next, 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 yeah, next, but, uh, and I then i want to uh, monica uh, i want to to, to like uh, uh, msi means like uh, before uh, it is uh, any missing the files na? no msi means windows level no no okay 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 go ahead continue yeah. If you want to install any software, you will click on next, 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 next. You need to accept the license. You need to give few permissions if it is in case of a phone. Give camera permissions, give audio permissions, give SMS permissions, and then the software installation will be complete. Right? Okay. Whereas in case of MSI, if we customize okay. that, just with single click, we can make everything to be installed. No need to click on okay. next, no need to give any license, no need to give any permissions. Mm -hmm. So you got an idea what is an MSI? Microsoft uh, interface? Windows. Microsoft installer. Installer, okay, okay. So you got a bare idea of what is an MSI. For installation purpose, we'll be using that yeah so but uh, are you clear like why we are using msi in order to avoid click on next 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 okay when coming to second scenario first scenario is with your phone where only you can install on your phone it is easy to click on next next for five to six times okay okay coming to second scenario wherein you have thousands of computers on your in your organization where you need to install the same software on thousands of systems so you can't run to each uh, system okay. or each screen and click on next 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 right instead you need some people okay. or either a minimum of 100 people to do the job clear instead of that okay instead of that if you click on a single installable only one person can do the whole job of clicking on thousand computers right yeah clear yes sir. any doubt no nothing okay so coming to architectural explanation i'll be drawing a diagram if you want you can uh, uh, take the title. <coughs> you can see my screen, right? Yeah, yeah. So, the MSA architecture consists of product
product is subdivided into features. so this again it's a feature mm -hmm. and this features are subdivided again into sub features and components okay And this component again divide into files, registries. So are you aware of files, registries, file types? Okay. So basically, MSI architecture consists of product, features, components, files, registry, shortcuts, environmental variable services, everything. So take an example of MS Office. So currently, hmm. are you aware of Microsoft Office? Okay. So in case of Microsoft Office, you take Office entirely as a product has the features like word excel powerpoint one note everything these all were features of ms office right agree yes in that feature everything has a components like file home insert draw history these were components inside a feature all these things clear yeah and inside that component, it consists of files. Suppose, take in the case of an uh, MS Word. When you are doing some editing in file, you need some keyboard to do some editing. Here, that is that comes under file type. Okay. Are you clear okay. with example? Are you clear with the architecture? Clear. Yeah. Okay, then we are going to the next types of files. So basically in packaging, we will be dealing with this mainly five types of files. One is exe, which is an executable file. Another is an MSI Microsoft installer. This is MSP Microsoft Transform, MSP Microsoft Patch. This is Microsoft Merge Module. You will be going through these in further sessions. So these were the main five types of files we are going to deal with and there were few advantages of msi like transaction based operation so transaction based operation means whatever we are doing on our machine it is having each and every transaction is noted like it will generate a log for each and every instance of the software or whatever you are doing going to deal with in your system Suppose take in the case of a mobile, if you are installing any software and uninstalling it, you don't have any traces what software you installed or what you uninstalled. But rather in case of MSI, it will be having the traces of logs which user has installed, what time it has installed, what time it has uninstalled. Got it? Yes. Ah, uh, 
okay coming to self healing okay now you have installed your software but when you are launching something it is not working so what we'll do in that instances we'll uninstall and reinstall correct or you want to do anything else ఇంకేమైనా చేయొచ్చా గాయత్రి అన్ ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ రీఇన్స్టాలేషన్ కాకుండా మీరు ఇన్స్టాల్ చేసిన సరిగ్గా పని చేయకపోతే ఎనీ ఐడియా వెంకట్ గారు అన్ఇన్స్టాల్ చేసి రీఇన్స్టాల్ చేస్తారు okay but in case of msi no need to do that it has a feature called self healing suppose if anything is not working in that you can launch that uh, shortcut or the application if it is not working as expected it will try to self heal and it will try to repair the missing files and it will install them okay got it clear yeah clear okay coming to the another feature installation on demand take the example of ms office only if you don't want everything like if you want only word for that you don't want to uh, excel powerpoint everything you want only word but you need to install whole package of ms office it will contain some 2 gb of application and it is space consumption is more in that case whatever you want you can install that then and there at the main now only word kavalan to only word is coach okay okay installation and lock it down in the wrong like suppose you are installing one application on another person's computer where you don't have an access how are you going to deal with that so for each and every installation it will ask you permissions right hmm. in that case as well in locked down environments as well we can do this like with administrative installation there is an option in msi where we can do the administrative installation it is like in whom you raise the concern in the developer side or in any administrator can is a client raise them that one only. what type of concern sorry sorry what type of concern like okay is a customized application you should user need na it is like client side you can do them customized Are applications still i didn't go till there right wait mm -hmm. okay sorry clear about locked down environment yeah 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 okay customized application to suit the user needs is like if whatever however the user want the application we can customize that it is the end users customization okay okay and simplifying in installation and uninstallation procedures is like with single click as i told and with command line we can do and it will be clean installation and uninstallation and it will save the time in both the cases mm -hmm. and coming to roll back roll back is something like if you are installing something uh, if you are installing some software on your machine and your machine is not supporting that particular piece of software and you have noticed it in the middle of installation so by the time few of the files have already been copied to your machine and few, uh, it consumes some space in your machine so this msi has a specific uh, feature by name rollback what it does is this rollback will remove whatever it has installed with this msi and it will completely clean your system and give you however it is before the installation okay Thank you.